If you want to know more about the Old West in America, then the vibrant city of Amarillo in Texas makes an ideal place to come. In many ways, Amarillo is a quintessentially Texan town, and you can enjoy the local flora and fauna here in a range of desert parks, as well as try some traditional Texan fare such as steaks and other barbecued meats. If you want a more contemporary experience however, then you will also find this here, and in addition to historic sites and museums, there are exciting attractions popping up all the time such as craft beer breweries and art galleries. Amarillo is also located along the iconic Route 66, so make sure that you check out this important historical road in America's history, in the form of a historic district in town, as well as a quirky art installation made up of classic Cadillac cars. So, here is the list of the 10 best things to do in Amarillo, Texas. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Cadillac Ranch. The Cadillac Ranch is one of the most famous pieces of art in the country and was established in 1974 by a group of artists from the area. The colorful art installation is an ode to Route 66, as Amarillo sits along this famous road and is made up of 10 Cadillac cars that are half submerged in the Texas earth. The cars started off in their original form, but over the years people have decorated them as they have visited the installations, and now they are a riot of color and graffiti, which only adds to their charm. The installation is also famous in popular culture, so don't miss the chance to see this historic and cultural relic up close. Number 2. Palo Duro Canyon State Park. Palo Duro Canyon State Park is said to be one of the most beautiful attractions, not just in the Texas area, but in the entire United States. The park is regularly voted in the top 10 parks in the country, and it also has the claim to fame of having the second largest canyon crater in America. For anyone who loves the great outdoors, this is not to be missed, and you can indulge in hiking, mountain biking, and also horseback riding here. If you want to stay a bit longer, then you can camp in the park, and if you like bird watching then you are in luck, as there are a huge number of indigenous species that are resident here. Wildlife is also plentiful, so bring a camera if you want to capture some of the animals that call the park home. There is also a visitor center here with information about the park. Number 3. Route 66 Historic District. The city of Amarillo is part of the historic Route 66 and is also featured in the song, Get Your Kicks On, Route 66. As such, and as a memorial to the famous road and song, you will find the dedicated Route 66 district in Amarillo. The district stretches for one mile in the city and is full of historical buildings as well as a wealth of diverse shops. These include antique stores as well as handicraft shops and quirky art galleries, and you will also find a wealth of dining options here. These include local restaurants with traditional Texan fare as well as bars and live music events. Definitely, this is the place to come for an experience of this classic road. Number 4. Panhandle Plains Historical Museum. The largest history museum in Texas, the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum offers a glimpse into the history of Texas, from the age of the dinosaurs to modern times. Often described by locals as the Smithsonian with an accent, the museum has one of the finest collections of art in the Southwest. You can also learn about the American Indians who inhabited the land, the pioneers, oil, geology, water as a resource, innovations that shaped the development of the region, like windmills and transportation, and much, much more. In addition to the outstanding permanent collection, the museum also regularly hosts special exhibitions. The museum is located about 15 minutes outside of Amarillo. Number 5. 
American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum. The American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum is a museum that highlights this popular breed. The museum showcases photographs and paintings of the horses that have been honored as members of the Hall of Fame. Many of the beautiful paintings were done by acclaimed Western artist Oren Mixer. The museum also includes many displays related to horseback riding, including cowboy and riding attire, photographs, ribbons, and other artifacts related to the Hall of Fame's inductees. The museum includes interactive exhibits that teach visitors about horse anatomy, riding, and more. Museum guests are offered a quick orientation to the museum and are then free to explore the exhibits on their own. Number 6. Amarillo Museum of Art. The Amarillo Museum of Art features art exhibits from many different genres and time periods of art. The museum often hosts art shows and exhibits produced by local artists and or inspired by Texas. Visitors are free to tour the museum on their own. Additionally, the museum offers a variety of docent-guided tours for groups and field trips. In addition to the art exhibits, the museum also hosts educational talks, lectures, and programs throughout the year. The more substantial museum school and museum summer camp offer additional educational opportunities. The museum store sells a wide selection of art-related gifts, books, apparel, and souvenirs. Number 7. Amarillo Botanical Gardens. You may associate Texas with the desert, but you will find gorgeous lush scenery in the form of the Amarillo Botanical Gardens. The gardens are spread over four acres of land and have seasonal themes American Samoa well as dedicated features like a Japanese garden and a butterfly garden. If you want to see some species from outside of the state then you can visit the Mary E. Bivens Tropical Conservatory, and there are also Fragrance and Xeric Gardens on the property. You can take a guided tour here where a docent will explain the history of the gardens as well as take you on a walk through the flora and fauna on show here. Number 8. Jack Sizemore RV Museum. The Jack Sizemore Traveland RV Museum is a museum dedicated to unusual and vintage RVs. The museum was founded by Jack and Trent Sizemore, a father-son team who started collecting the vehicles more than 25 years ago. Jack Sizemore, the father, owns the oldest RV dealership in Texas, and the museum is located in its own building at the dealership. Some of the more interesting vehicles in the museum include the oldest Fleetwood in existence, the first Itasca motorhome to be built, and the flexible bus from the movie RV. There are many other motorhomes in the collection, dating from the 1930s to the 1970s. Number 9. Wonderland Amusement Park. Wonderland Amusement Park is an old-fashioned amusement park that has been in operation since 1951. The park opened with only three rides and was known as Kitty Land. Since that time the park has grown to include nearly 30 rides and attractions and is constantly looking to add more. The park includes a miniature golf course, traditional amusement park rides like bumper cars and a section of water rides. The park features several roller coasters with names like the Texas Tornado, Cyclone, and Hornet. A little kid-friendly area includes boats, a merry-go-round, and a train, among other rides. The park features concession stands selling food, drinks, and cotton candy. Number 10. Texas Air and Space Museum. A small but inspiring collection of aircraft and related pieces, along with a passionate and friendly staff of volunteers, make this a great stop for pilots or those with an interest in aviation. One of the best features of the Texas Air and Space Museum is that visitors are allowed into the planes for a full hands-on experience. Located near the airport, the museum is laid out in both indoor and outdoor spaces. In the main hangar, the centerpiece is a DC-3 from 1945. You can walk right up to the cockpit for a look at the instruments. Also in the hangar is a home-built crop duster from the late 1960s and interesting pieces, such as an ejection seat from AB-52 bomber and a hot air balloon basket. Astronaut Rick Husband, who was killed in the Columbia Space Shuttle as it was destroyed on re-entry from space, was from Amarillo. 
Another small area of the museum displays model aircraft and information on the husband and his career. The last word. So, guys, this was the bestest list of things to do in Amarillo, Texas. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Amarillo is the cultural and business center of the Texas Panhandle. The town started out as a railroad town in the 1880s, but has grown into a thriving city through several successful industries such as oil production, wheat farming, and cattle ranching. So, if you love travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icons for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.